Hi guys, we're back with a little gigantic sonar. Um, so if you said, what are you waiting for? For her to conclude to go on the platform. You should be studying their eyes all the time. Not reaching your hand down there, rubbing their face. Oh, you're absolutely off. New plan. Head over there myself. <laughs> I think in the very beginning, though, if you said, I could get it to take one step away from the handler to go someplace else, I'd say, all right, bro, I joined God. That's her piggybacking. I don't have any reaction. Um, if you said you had a reaction, no, I, I know how to not have a reaction. So, that's when her internal dialogue needs to be. Oh my God, it's so I mean, unbelievable. Let's see you do. I go over there. So I understand now it's way. I used to do the same thing. Get in your blaze. Get in your blaze. I understood why they didn't like it. <laughs> now I do. But he's bossy old thing. For one of these, she has good food drive. So I might, I said, I'm just going to try looking at it and see if she'll go over there. If you said, my, I don't have any ability to direct them with my eye line, I'd say, then you're really missing out. You're really missing out because that's what I'm doing is directing it with my eye line. I ought to come all the way to here and be like this. If you said, get up there, jostle it, rub it on, to flop those big ears around. <sighs> that's my response. <laughs> You should even have the same thing as with your recall. The, you know, you're building behaviors. You're stacking these behaviors up in these dogs until that's just what they do. You know, whether there's food or not, there is always going to be food, but that's what it's going to do regardless. You said based on what Molly? If I bring her out right now, she'll sit on that thing forever. If I can look at it. I want to give the dog, you know, what you don't want with dogs. Oh, if you said we just get corrections coming out of nowhere. You know, that's not going to work. That, that, there are certain occasions that if you said she's, oh, she's awful. But she's trying to figure out something. So once she gets back up there, and I do need to put a default down in her before she gets much bigger. I like to move her around, though. And if you said, why? Because she is kind of slow. And if you said, well, clap your hands, make her run to... <laughs> She's not going to do that. Clap your hands, get her to run to you. She's trying to figure out some kind of formula. If it means pushing and stealing, climb, well, she'll do that one, too. Anyway, I want to move her around. I don't want her going on this slide, though. Hang on. I think you can easily start getting your healing like this. And you said you can get them healing off leash first. I'm starting to think so. I'm starting to think so. Okay, I got a better trajectory today. I, I, I turned my platform. So if you said, well, you want the head where? Right here. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I turned my platform, so I've got, you know. Hi, Jill. Oh, this little monster. Oh, look at her, Jill. Yeah, hopefully that public uh, set is done by now. I'm sure Jeffrey worked on it all night. How, how long could these things take? Full scale model, how long could this take? <laughs> Alright, so I'm traveling. I want to let her know way ahead of time, and if you said how by looking there. Oh, uh, they oh you gotta go get these meatballs, Jill. <laughs> she started to go airborne. There's my pager. There's my fish hook. If you said you didn't turn her with the I turned her with the pager. I turned her with the pager. Alright, so now we can go back here. So if 
Like you said, when did you do the pager? I just kind of choreographed it. Uh, she already sees me looking at that thing. Now she sees me itching to go. Yeah, you can honestly just heal from platform to platform. That might be easier for handlers, weak handlers. What do I have to do now? Just walk over there. Hold your hand right here and walk over there. Now give it the treat. Surely these people can do that. Surely. Surely. Yeah. Oh, you're going to get the full view. There's my fish hook. Oh, that is. I mean, I'm making, I'm stringing a couple things together right there. position. Why not? If that's what you want, if you want to develop a way to be able to hand off the treat. If you're there, Melissa, this is what you need to be doing with your little sobby. And then if you said, what did you do? I then drove it up there with, I'm just dropping the treats everywhere. I'm awful. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, Jeffrey, there's a couple finishing touches he's going to have to need to put on it, but, yeah, it's, um, you know, he's going to be spending, you know, his weekends out there constructing it, so, you know, I'll run down to the beach with you guys. Oh, we'll go to, uh, what's that one place? Oh, Chase on the Beach. Then we'll laugh and laugh. <laughs> Jeffrey's like, get rid of her. <laughs> All right, anyway. So I think you're starting out. You said, well, I want to practice my healing. Well, what's healing? Well, I want to let the dog know I like you right here. I like your face right there. So I do have this hand. This hand is gonna keep, this hand is gonna indicate travel. And she just runs to get a drink. And then she decides to come back. You do get a little dizzy, but I'm holding the pager down. If you said draw a line where the pager's holding down, the pager's going to half moon for that turn. The pager's starting when I'm turning a half moon because it's a half moon turn. So the pager's going the whole turn. So right there, I just clicked it to mean I was going to move. She's watching this arm. Half moon turn. You're pulling it all in. She said, where's that going to come in handy? Look at that big blue one. That's where it's going to come in handy. You know, and even from here, if I said, well, I want to just be able to move it, you know, move it. How can the pager help me do that? Now I'm definitely looking at this platform. You said it, she's not basing anything on that arm. Yeah, she's basing everything on that arm. Oh, look at it trying to get away from me. That's what she's saying. Yeah, I gotta go get the softener salt. Uh, yeah, tell Je Jeffrey the public storefront one. We're going to need to get the salt-free softener installed in there. Uh, it, it, he said, what do you mean? Well, Jeffrey, we've we got to have water to make the coffee. Remember, we've got the free coffee stand. It, it looks like a Publix from the front, but you just go in. It's just, it's there's the coffee is there. Okay, so I, I want you guys to watch what this dog is looking at. And it, it, if you said, well, start to look at your eyes. That's what I want. If I am going to travel there, I'm going to look there first. And then I'm going to very deliberately go there. If I'm not going to travel there, then I could keep my hand like this. <laughs> my little half moon, that's the end. If you said start adding a little bit of a turn this way. She doesn't have that good advice. Like, she didn't even really see that. There's my turn that way. And I threw it in. If you said, why did that work out perfect? It worked out perfect because I kind of got it moving. And then she sort of jettisoned ahead out of the turn. So, anyway. 
Yeah, tell Jeffrey we're not going to need real cash registers and stuff inside, but I'm going to need him to photograph actual Publix cashiers. We're just going to get cutouts, those cardboard cutouts. Jill, you've seen them. Life-size cutouts, and we'll have those behind the fake registers. <laughs> what? Okay, hang on. Let me get my dumbbells. Couldn't get there fast enough. Yeah, I think we better put a Dollar Tree in next to the Publix too, uh, Jill. Just you know to keep the cover story. We, it's not gonna look right. It's just a Publix. You know, Publix is always the anchor store. We're gonna need you know Dollar Tree or something next door. Probably like Dollar Tree and AT and T and stuff. Hey, you know, whatever he can come up with. You know, four or five different other little you know stores in the plaza. <laughs> Cause yeah, now it's plaza. <laughs> Jeffrey's like, oh my god. All right, so this dog is doing everything of its own free will. I've got three. If you said, how can you make your thing, you know, if you start out with one subtask of the dog picking it up, how do, where do you go from there? And you, you can just add objects and distance. I don't know what else to tell people. Then you can start doing direction if you wanted. Yeah, if I did nothing else for the rest of my life but train this dog, I probably could get it doing, you know, a long, you know. Not in a competition or anything. Oh, that pushed the handler away. Look, the handler left. Oh, that was a bad plan. <laughs> oh, but wait, the handler came back. All right, so I'm just going to put him out in the open. He doesn't see all these treats on the ground either. If you said, oh, you look like you're so happy. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what she sees. That's what she sees. All right, so now my job. Again, I already worked with her following my eye line. You have got to contain that excitement in the handler. You've seen dogs wiggle up, trying to get attention. That's what you're going for, not reaching out. Yeah, there, she, there it is. Wiggling up, trying to get my attention. Oh, she'll steal from me. But now, what she needs to look and see what is this thing looking at. Nina, I, I don't know how I get so attached to these dogs. She's like a, my little champion. You know, and that should be your goal, you guys. That should be your goal. You're making this dog your little champion. The best champions on the block. That's your goal, Jill. Oh, these dogs are the champion. They'll talk about these dogs for years to come. This one dog. Um, oh, gosh, I can't think of the girl's name. She's a really cute girl. The dog's name was Derby. It was a golden doodle. He was terrible. But then I trained him. Then he was like the champion of their neighborhood. Oh, yeah, no, that worked out real good. And then everyone on that street brought their dog there based on this Derby the champion of the neighborhood. That taught me a lot. <laughs> that needs to be your goal. You're telling he's the champion of our neighborhood. Sure, this thing's never gonna go to Westminster and Crufts is so far out of the realm of the possibility, but neighborhood champion? Oh yeah. That's where you're at. 
And if you said, can I get a ribbon and a trophy? Oh yeah, I can direct you right to a little place. Get your own ribbon and trophy, dog's name, all of it. Uh, whatever the name of your Shadow Hill subdivision champion, from whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever your subdivision is, Jill, then your two are the champions. Look how cute this dog is, though. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for sharing the video. If you said, what's your job? Boy, get down there. Get down there. And if you said, why? Because that's a long way to travel from the handler. If, you, if the dog said to itself, I never had any success going away from the handler, it's... If you said, who doesn't have any problem with uh, uh, people that hunt, you know, bird dog trainers? They're not dealing with, you know, because the dog is doing nothing but going away from the handler. All right, I'm going to see if I can get her to go down there just by looking at that location. And I got to kind of look. That's, that's her default plan. Go because she looked. And if you said, Why did you do you want him to think? Oh my god, I, my, I was right. I was right. You have to think about how empowering that feels to yourself. I was right. How I took the right exit. I was right. As opposed to, I took the wrong exit, and it's one of those ones where the road's barricaded off and drops down 40 feet. <laughs> Alright, so same thing. I'm just getting it to travel with my eyes. She believes she's controlling me, though. If you said, how could you get... All she's going to have to do is see a slight... You've got to let them say, though, if all the corrections come around the handler... Think about it, you guys. If you said, what corrections do you get? I use the nick at the outer concentric circle to drive the dog back in my direction after I've created a pager rumble strip right at the edge. And if you said, what's that like? It's like a sign saying, you're now leaving the United States. And well, you're no longer operating under the auspices of the United States of America. Good luck with all that. You know, uh, that's... You've already positioned yourself as the United States of America, so there has to be a demarcation line where outside that. And if you said, where is this far away from the handler? It's not by the handler, you know. What a cute dog, though. Am I wrong? I get so attached to these damn dogs. Oh, she's growing now, too. Oh, she's a pretty, pretty dog. Oh, she's a pretty... She just needs glasses, that's all. But I've got my little subtask, and any of you guys can get them doing it. And if you said, how, sit there and look at it. If, if the dog, and if you, if what you said to me, oh, don't you dare start biting mama's hair, um, was that it just walks away and doesn't care what I look at, then I say, well, then we have to go back a couple steps and you need to do these things to get it to care, you know, what you're looking at, and then it will pick it up. And if you said, why? Because every dog, I can get any dog to do it. You said based on the blind deaf one does it. If you can do the little one-handed thing, and you can't be stingy, and if you said say yes, say it, it doesn't, it can't hear me. Say yes, it can't even hear me. It doesn't matter. Oh, she's definitely giving it to me too. And if you said, how much have you rewarded it organically when she just picks things as much as I possibly could? As much as I possibly could, you know, if she picks something up, then I try to let, oh, uh, that can be redeemed for prizes. Take any kid to Chuck E. Cheese. They love those tickets. Anyone loves the little tickets. You figure out which machine spits out the most tickets, if you're like me, and you start playing that machine, getting all the tickets you can get. <laughs> So the value of the object now is in, in its ability to be redeemed, not in the ab object itself. So you're not going to guard something. Oh, here, look at her. <laughs> so cute. 
All right, you guys, I'm going to try to squeeze in a couple more episodes before I have to go get this stupid 80-pound bags of softener salt. It's awful, absolutely awful. All right, guys, I will be right back. I can't even turn the phone off. That's... Oh, no, i got to take my phone out of the case, too. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, my phone is so dirty. I... I'm sure you can see why. Look at that little monkey. I'm going to get some pictures of her.